Looking for trouble? They want to buy Cassidy caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right, trading history for a slip of paper. What did you just say to me? Cause you sure as hell got my attention now. Me, that's who. I'm not gonna let it go just yet. There... There might be some survivors, or... <sighs> who am I kidding? There's nothing left. And I wouldn't be here drinking in some shitty bar in the ass and in nowhere if it wasn't true. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing but dirt. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved, actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. No idea. Maybe head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. Go with you? And why the hell would I do that? Hmm. The outpost lost its charm about three bottles ago. And that was just this morning. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. All right, I'm in. Caravan of two now. Morning. Welcome back. Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those occasions. It's been a pleasure. You are such an asshole sometimes. Look, maybe you were like this before I signed up with you. But if you keep acting this way, I'm not gonna stick around much longer. Well, all right. I'll stick around for a little while longer, but if you get out of line again... Ask him then. I'm already shadowing you, aren't I? Lead on, I'll follow. Ask him then. Started? Took to it like a fish to water. Well, if you know what a fish is. Well, of course I do. It's this slimy, scaled thing. Like a lake lurk, except no legs. Well, most times. They're like birds, except they stay underwater. Anyway, I've seen pictures. One guy even had one above his bar in Reading, except it was made of pre-war plastic. Used to say it could sing, but I figured he was on a jet rush. 
Actually, it sort of fell on me. My feet get antsy if I stay in one place, like the Mojave outpost. It was driving me crazy, that feeling of being trapped there. So, thanks for that. Yeah, west, east, and pass through places enough times people would sometimes pay me some caps to take something to the next town. Well, not as glamorous, I guess. Roads back west were safer in most places. Most. Anyway, occurred to me I could scratch the traveling itch and get paid for it. Cassidy caravans formed around me. Rest is history. Ask him then. Gift for my dad, along with my name. Rose of Sharon Cassidy. Mom said he got the name out of some old world book about dirt pilgrims. Name sure sounds sweet, though. Anyway, pendant's a little rose. Originally thought it was one of Mom's tribal necklaces, but no. Came from Dad. You know, like one of the tribes from the East. We got them out West, too. NCR's herding them up, though, domesticating them. Mom was from east of the Colorado, though. Not sure what tribe. It was before the time Caesar rounded them up, made them legion. She walked a hell of a way until she crossed paths with my dad, and he convinced her to stop walking. And lucky for me, he was a horny old bastard. Didn't ask Mom to elaborate. Never heard her complain about his bedroom behavior. Only complain he wasn't around to do it no more. Not much to tell. He ended up walking east one day when I was young and never came back. Not a family deserter like some, though. Mom died waiting for him, and she had me to raise. She was sick, but she held off dying until I was old enough to be getting into trouble with the boys. As for Dad, I figure he just got himself lost or dead. Happens. And I'm not all boo-hoo about it, so save your glass for someone who's crying. Not a clue. When he left, I was too in my crib to understand why, and around the time Mom passed, I was too into my teens to listen. Got his name, got this pendant, and that's about it. Short of caps is what taught me, mostly. Ammo's expensive, so I learned to make every shot count. And here tell my dad was a crack shot, so I don't want to dirty the family name. Not out of pride. Respect. Dynamite's for when you don't have enough bullets, want to clear a pass or scare off geckos from a caravan. Some of Twisters out of the Divide can block off a pass in no time, so you learn how to handle powder so you don't get trapped somewhere. Any event, I prefer shooting if it comes down to an argument. Don't worry, I'll carry my weight if a disagreement arises. What, you mean like spears? No, none of that. Mom was a tribal, but she didn't teach me anything like that. All right, then. I guess my last warning didn't sink in too well. Things don't change, and soon, I'm gone. You son of a bitch. You know, I was just gonna give you a piece of my mind, and now? Now I'm gonna put you down. Got one!
Guess my last warning didn't sink in too well. Things don't change, and soon I'm gone. All right, maybe I was a little harsh. I can be that way. You need to be tougher. If you let the Mojave get you down, then you've given up on life. So straighten out. Stop being so shifty and downright mean and see if that doesn't change your outlook. Ask him then. Not sure if I chose it or it chose me. Dad ran a bar a long time ago and it was a labor of love, Mom said. Didn't sound like it made her happy. Still, I'm guessing I got some of Dad's love of whiskey in me because the burn suits me fine. Used to call me Whiskey Rose back west, before I punched enough people, so now they say it. But quiet, and when I'm not around. Yeah, on account of my name. And the blossoms on my cheeks when I drink too much. Won most of those fights, too. Can take a hell of a punch and give it right back when I've got a bottle in me. It's all in how you drink it, though. There's a trick to it. When we pass the bottle, I'll show you how it's done. There's usually a bar in every stop along the road. Helps me sleep. Well, not really, but I tell myself that. Sometimes I have to brew it myself if I'm too far from a bar. Not quality, but I'm for anything that takes the edge off the day. Yeah, what else are you gonna do with an empty bottle? Wait for it to refill itself? Get me some ingredients out of the Mojave, an empty bottle, a little time, and I'll keep us stocked. All right, then. As I live and breathe, Rose of Sharon Cassidy, the late Rose of Sharon Cassidy, was hoping you were on that caravan I massacred. But Crimson Caravan and Van Graffs won't need to worry about you anymore. Mojave's ours, and we're shutting you down for good. Waited too long to finish this. Last loose end, all wrapped up. Hi, I'm John Baptiste, and you're about to stop being a pain in my ass. Oh, that was fun. Did you see the look on that bitch's face? Priceless. Anyway, Glory's been antsy lately because that big deal she's been working on is finally going down. If this thing goes down, we'll have it made. Fucking made, I tell you. Talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll want you along. And don't think I forgot your pay. A job well done is its own reward. But it doesn't pay for pussy at the local brothel, does it? <laughs> 